Hello LEGO fans, I'm here with another review, uh, this time of a pirate set, uh, 6258 Smuggler's Shanty. And uh, I think this is an absolute beautiful set. Um, it's one of the smaller ones, of course, but it's got three minifigures, a freaking shark, always love these. You know, they were cool. Uh, this is the old design of a shark. Um, again, very simplistic, but uh, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, a boat, and you got this little, uh, yeah, uh, island there. Um, so let's take a look and see what are some of the, the pros of this set. Um, so I mean, first off, uh, what I really like uh, always were these red coats. I think they look absolutely awesome. Same goes for this red flag right here. Um, I mean, nothing against the blue coats, but uh, I think the the red really, you know, pops. And, and um, I always thought that the red coats, um, they looked a little bit more, you know, menacing. Um, and uh, of course had one of the most beautiful sets of all time, uh, which is the Imperial Trading Post. I mean, that's an absolute beauty. So I'm a huge fan of those. And we get one officer of the Redcoats with this set. Um, he's got uh, a flintlock pistol and a cutlass and um, these yellow epaulets, not really clean shaven. I mean, by the looks of his, uh, his face print there, he could easily be a pirate, uh, pirate himself. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess if you're at sea for a long time, not really much uh, opportunity to shave. And it's probably also difficult to shave your face with a cutlass. So I don't recommend you do that. Um, so apart from him, we get two pirates. Uh, both of them are missing one eye. Uh, both have eye patches, but uh, different hair. Uh, one of them got uh, brownish red hair, the other ones get black hair. Um, different uh, torso prints, one musket, one cutlass, and one uh, golden goblet. Got a tricorn here and a blue bandana. Really cool. I like that they uh, try to uh, give these sailors a little bit more uh, individuality, you know, um, in, in the early sets of the pirate uh, theme, you know, they always looked a little bit too similar for my taste. And here they really try to um, mix it up a little bit. Uh, same goes for this shirt right here, which I think looks really cool. So what else do we have? We have the island itself. Um, you have this uh, yellow uh, plate right here, uh, which is supposed to represent sand. Um, and uh, you got this little, uh, no, come on, this chest right here, which of course contains gold coins, always four, uh, and that you can never have enough of these. So that's it, you got a pirate flag. And the overall build is really simplistic. You know, you can picture that this is like, like a little little hut, uh, makeshift hut that the pirates, um, you know, built. They used palm tree leaves uh, for the roof. And, um, you know, you can imagine that this is like in the Caribbean where, um, you know, they don't need walls or anything like that. So it's really meant to just, you know, probably protect yourself from, uh, you know, a heavy tropical rain or something like that. Other than that, it's really not um, that much of a shelter. Um, but I totally like the overall simplistic design. Again, um, in many of my other reviews, I always mention how I like the reduced uh, design of these old Lego sets from the 80s and 90s. And this is a perfect example. You have a hut, that's basically it, you know. Um, they don't even bother to, I don't know, put, you know, a fireplace in there or a chair or something like that. So it's always very, very much reduced to the maximum or reduced to the bare minimum uh, to be more precise. So yeah, let me know what you think of this set. Uh, I think it's one of the most beautiful sets that they have uh, when it comes to this size. And um, I really enjoyed playing with this as a kid. 
and uh, you know the whole story. I mean, um, again, you have everything you need to to play a great pirate adventure. You know, um, always a little stingy on the uh, red coat imperial front. Uh, you know, uh, as a kid, I always thought, hey, give us more of those. I want at least two of them. You know, um, so the the imperials were always like on a disadvantage. Uh, when it comes to their numbers, um, you had to get like like their own sets, so to speak. You know, like like the trading post or um, their flagship uh, to get a decent amount of um, soldiers. Uh, so again, this is a representation of the whole uh, trouble when it comes to their numbers. Um, he's outnumbered, so there you go. <laughs> but apart from that, um, you can play all sorts of great adventures with that, um, you know, treasure hunts, um, fights, you know, uh, you can even, you know, uh, reinvent the whole um, Jaws uh, idea, you know, uh, Jaws in, in pirate times. So great play value, absolutely love it. Let me know what you think and uh, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and don't step on the Lego.